I'm curious what y'all make of this game defensively. Where do you feel like the Jaguars were, were able to find some success and uh, how much of a how much of a relief was it for you to make that play late? Uh, I feel like I feel like we got we we have a lot that we can learn from this game as a defense. Um, but I feel like one thing about our team is like no matter like what's happening in the game, we always fight to the end. And I feel like Braves does a great job preparing us for all types of situations. And you know we were able to Jeff was able to get his hands up, which we've been preaching all week. He was able to do that, and I was able to come down with it. Um, but yeah, no, I mean. It's way easier to learn from your mistakes when you're winning. So we're two and zero. We got the win. That's the most important thing. Now we just got to make sure we're learning from our mistakes, so it don't you know continue into the next week. Judge, you have a follow-up. Paul. Hey, Harold. Um, I know you guys kind of got it done in the end, and you, you made the big play. What, uh, how frustrating was it that they kept finding ways to, to get down there and score? And what do you think the root of it was? Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was frustrating. Um, you know, we got to look at the film. I got to look at the film. I feel like everyone has, has a part to play in this defense. Um, and, you know, they had success. And, you know, we just got to watch the film. So, you know, I have more of an answer to that when I get on the film. How huge for, for Ryan to step up with the four touchdowns and obviously keep you guys right there, put you in position to to win it and, and you to clinch it with the pick. Yeah, big time, man. Ryan's a big time leader in our locker room. Um, everyone loves him. You know, I'm happy for him. Um, he's a great player. And, you know, like I said, I'm really happy for him in the offense. Uh, I feel like we just got to step it up on defense and, you know, play better complimentary football. Um, and I think, you know, we'll get this thing rolling. Everybody's been saying you work on that uh, hands, uh, uh, the squib kick play that Kalu made. That's a heck of a play by him to, to steal at three points, really, by picking that squib kick off. Uh, you surprised to see how well he was able to, to grab something like that? That's Nobody ever uh, does that. No, I'm not surprised. You know, Kalu, like I said, everyone has a role to play on this team, and Kalu takes what he does very seriously. And and like I said, man, Braves and the staff, they do a great job preparing us for all situations throughout the week. Um, so it's not a surprise when the game comes in. We were able, I feel like we're able to execute in key situations in the game, just like Kalu did. Appreciate you, man. Thanks. Jim Wyatt. Coach, you Jim Wyatt. Harold, how you doing? Congrats to your big play at the end. Kind of what went through your mind when you saw the ball kind of floating through the air and, and then your ability to go get it? What was that like? Uh, nah, I mean, I just saw the ball and I knew that I needed to attack it because obviously it's floating up there in the air. There's other people that are going to try to get it. So, I mean, just attack the ball. I, I'm pretty confident that they were going to be able to come down with it. Um, but, yeah, no, nah, I mean, Jeff did a great job getting his hands up. And I was able to come down with it. How important just to find a way to win? I know you guys are going to have a lot of corrections from this one, but just to win and improve the two and zero most important thing. What you're feeling like leaving today? Yeah, man, uh, it's always awesome to win. Uh, you know, we're two and zero. Like you said, that's the most important thing. Getting the win. You know, it's a lot easier going into the facility um, following a win and being able to to make the corrections rather than a loss. So, like you said, it's big time. Uh, to get a win in the NFL, and we're able to do that. We started off season two and zero, oh, and you know, like you said, we just got to make the corrections and uh, go on the next week. And and I guess probably in a normal game, that when that ball's batted up in the air, there's probably a crowd reaction, and then you're reacting to the ball in flight, and then there's another reaction. It was pretty quiet, but could you hear your sideline when you made the play? And what was that like? Oh uh, yeah, no, nah, it was awesome. I mean, everybody was excited, and you know. I mean, yeah, it would be awesome, and it's going to be awesome to have fans. But you know, it's also awesome to you know see the excitement, you know, with, you know, from your boys on the sideline and on the defense and everything that they have for you when you know you make a play, and you know, that, I think that's really cool. And I guess you got to give Minshew some credit. I mean, he, he's kind of a scrappy guy, who runs around, makes some plays. What was it like defending him, and what do you think about him? Yeah, no, I mean, I think he's a baller. I think you know, I think he knows what he does well, and he goes out there and. He, 
he doesn't try to be someone he's, he's not, and he goes out there and he executes. I thought he did a great job for, you know, the Jags in that game. You know, my hat's off to them. Uh, I thought they played really well. Um, but like you said, man, I feel like we prepare hard for these situations, and we're, you know, we're no matter what the situation is in the game, we know that the game gets close in the fourth quarter. You know, one of our key things is effort and finish, and we just got to finish. And I feel like, you know, we did that, you know, and it's just a great feeling to be 2-0. Were you guys gassed? I mean, you played a lot of plays. They were on the you know, you're on the field a lot. And, and how do you get through that when you're only in week two and just haven't had a lot of um, games to play yet? Uh, no, nah, I mean, I feel like, you know, being a pro, you got to be able to perform, you know, whenever the coaches want you out there. Um, you know, I felt like that first game in Denver, you know, playing in, you know, that atmosphere uh, kind of helped us out, you know. Uh, for the rest of the season, because um, you know I felt I felt like I felt better uh, this week than I did last week. Um, but you know, you know it is what it is, man. When you're out there on the field, you got to perform. And uh, I guess hey, well, like I guess what last one? I guess what's next? I mean, what, what, you got to watch the tape, but what have you got to do defensively? I guess moving forward. No, I mean. <laughs> You literally said it. We just got to watch the tape and make the corrections. Um, it's not rocket science. I feel like everybody has a job to do. And, you know, we just got to just got to make the correction and make sure we're learning for it, learning from, you know, our mistakes and staying on top of them and then just improving. This league's all about improving. You know, the best teams are teams that improve each week.